What's up, guys? What's going on? Star Sniper in a video. Today we are back in our good old Rimworld colony. Uh, sorry that it is a little bit later. It's probably gonna be uploaded like later than usual. Uh, sorry about that. It's because yesterday I was extremely busy and I barely had any time to even like record most of this stuff. Uh, because like the new seven days update came out, I also didn't have a lot of time because the Easter preparations. I was gonna do it early in the morning today, but I had to go to Easter breakfast with the family, so I was kind of busy. So like I said, sorry it is a little bit later, but uh, hopefully that is all right. I'm just adjust my mic real quick. Sorry if that kind of hurts your ears or something. So uh, we got the relaxing like cowboy music. Also uh, today's gonna be a bit of a shorter episode because I actually have to head out to do more stuff with the family, and I want to get this rendering while I'm gone. Uh, I need a sneeze. Oh god. Oh god, it's like one of those half sneezes where it's like you don't know if you want to, but it's like you feel... Okay, we're good. So, last we left off, we did go ahead and get two prisoners. We got Gar Gary the Herbalist, and we got Salt the uh, Surveyor. So these are going to be pretty useful in our uh, search or whatever for good stuff. We got Stainforth over there. Is that how I pronounce it? Wow, I actually got that right. Stainforth. He's going to be collecting stuff for us. Uh, he's actually building some stuff. Oh, what's he building? Another turret? Oh, dope. And some more defenses, I guess. I wasn't exactly expecting that. Takes a pretty long time to construct those turrets, too. It's kind of surprising. A bunch of guns are going to want to start hauling into our designated, like, weapon area. Uh, we do have it set for... Yeah, yes, we, we have it set for weapons, so it should happen. Also, last left off, we did start uh, building like a huge turret system to kind of protect everyone, so that's going to be good. We got plenty of food, plenty of fine meals getting cooked up by our good uh, good friend Cass over there. Salt didn't get recruited, which sucks. Uh, we don't have any muffalo herds to hunt and get more meat. So we have oh, we got a little we got a little herd here. Okay, well we're gonna go ahead and designate them. Or uh, we don't really need to designate them right now. I got plenty of meat still, and it's going fine. We're making some fine meals for the people to eat. Uh, and we're trying to recruit Salt, who I uh, should be getting pretty happy with us. I mean, yeah, his, his uh, threshold's going up. He ate nutrient paste. That sucks. Uh, he's imprisoned, so sorry, but that's your fault. And what else can we do? Uh, is, there, is there social interaction going on? That should, yeah, that should make him friendlier, so I don't get why he's so, like, depressed. Everyone just sleeping now. Uh, Stainford's in a bit of a dark place, but that's okay. He's sleeping, so I don't think he's going to care too much. Yeah, he's a bit hungry, so hopefully he does eat up. Uh, fear threshold? Oh, that's what it's going Oh my god, his happiness. Why did it just like, plummet down? Okay, we're not going to look at that. So, what do we want to do today is definitely finish up our, that turret defense system. And uh, we do have the nice path going over there. We might want to... We might want to actually... I don't know, it's really our only goal right now is to make sure everyone kind of gets food that they get recruited and a trade ship. We have a combat supplier, I thought that's the Ludian Lubricant Company, that sounds like some shady ass dealings and that does not sound like they sell guns, but whatever, let's have Sal over here, go talk to them and uh, see what they have to say for themselves. Also, we could maybe sell some uh, guns, maybe. We might be able to sell some guns to them if we get it within that range. Well, what weapons do they sell? Ooh, a charge rifle and a minigun? Oh, damn. Damn, that's nice. Let's so check out this charge rifle. M24, it's a sniper. Oh, I might I might just want to buy all of this. Oh, definitely charge rifle. Hello, M24. And we can't afford the minigun quite yet. Unless what we do... Oh, God, no, we're going to pause that. We're going to pause that. We're going to pause that. Uh, whoever's... Is Stanford the pirate? Yeah, so he's gonna be pretty good with guns. Who's the best with guns? Uh, Stanford has 14 with guns. Okay, well, Stanford is gonna get the M24. And he's gonna be sniping some kids. Uh, Waka is my gangbanger, who's a pretty bad shooter. Yeah, he's only 4. What about Cass over here? She's a 6. Uh, and Sal? What's Sal? Uh, it's a 6, but he's pretty capable. Or he or she, I forget. Yeah, it's a, it's a she. She's pretty capable of learning. Uh, Gary isn't much, and I'm going to guess Salt isn't too much of a shooter either. Yeah, he's more of a miner. That's going to be nice. Well, so out of everyone, I think Sal is going to deserve the charge rifle. So we'll have him pick that up. And then let's do that really quickly. And then with those guns dropped off, we should be able to sell those pistols off. So let's call the company again really quickly. And are they going to be... Yes, we can sell them. And is that going to be enough for the minigun? 
No, we're still barely short. Okay. Well, what we can do is have uh, uh, Stanford, at least for now, let's have you equip those Molotov cocktails real quick. Let's have you go over there. We gotta do some like macro, hardcore macro here. Let's have you, uh, no, let's have you, how do you drop a gun? F, like, I feel like this is gonna throw a Molotov instead of shoot it. Um, crap. I don't really know how you drop it. Uh, Oh, there we go. You drop it. Okay, let's go pick up your M4. And let's, let's have you undrafted and then pick up your M4. Let's do that. And then, uh, I might as well have you... Or, er, Sal. We're, de we're depriving Sal over here of eating, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's going to buff out. It's going to buff out. Let's have him call. Let's sell this Molotov cocktail. And let's buy this minigun. And boom, we Gucci. Now we have a freaking minigun, which is ridiculous. Uh, someone's going to have to get that. Not entirely sure who, but we will have to see about that. And uh, we just did like arm half of the colony with amazing stuff, so that's awesome. And uh, I don't really know what else to do. Maybe get some standing lamps, because we do have plenty of power. So I think that's actually a good goal. And this wind is really annoying, so let's try to like fast forward past it as quickly as possible. Because like this wind is kind of yeah this w oh god this is pretty loud uh if it hits if it hits my generator I swear to God I'm gonna be mad definitely let's get some uh, standing lamps going kind of along the road to kind of light the exterior up it's pretty dark kind of sucks so let's we'll light the exterior up a little bit get some nice lamps kind of keep the colony nice and lit during nighttime it's nice you know it's nice it's a nice little thing we got going here. Let's get that going on that corner. That wind is still still extremely loud. It should kind of screw off. Seriously, screw off wind. Wind, screw off. Oh my god. I hate this wind. I hate this game. No, I don't. It's a good game, but still, screw off wind. It's not going to screw off anytime soon, is it? Yeah, no. It doesn't look like it. Okay, oh shit. I almost hit my colonist. Also, these lamps are going to be nice for lighting the colony up. Uh, yeah, we should be able... Our electricity bill should be still okay, so... Not too big of a deal. Yeah, we got we're just lighting this place up. Oh Jesus Christ, is this gonna stop anytime soon? It's been going on for like a day. There we go. There we go. Yeah, okay, so this is pretty nice with the standing lamp. We got a nice lit up thing going. We'll put one on that corner. Uh throw one down there. Throw one over there. And hopefully that's enough uh for power wise. If not, what's the what's the draw looking like? We're actually losing it now. Oh god. We have a we have way too many standing lamps, it seems like. Uh, well then, how to go about this? Uh, probably gonna want to go ahead and build. We could go. Yeah, I'm thinking we go colonize whatever that is, or throw throw. Ah, we don't need that yet though. We'll expand there later. Right now, let's just get some sun energy going. You know, nice and efficient. Uh, we definitely want it on desert because desert can't really be productive. So that'll be the best place to plop it down on. Let's get a solar generator. Yeah, our spawn. We got really lucky with it. It's ridiculously good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna have it like here. You know, plop down, kind of make a little bit of a. It'll be connected right away, and it's kind of like a path. If you catch my drift, if that makes sense, does it? I don't know, but it's kind of like a nice little path here. It's gonna like solidify it. I don't know. I'm talking out my ass. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, they're getting the metal for it. They're gonna start building it. Uh, we failed to recruit salt. That asshole does not want to get recruited, does he? I mean, oh my god, look at all that convincing that's been done, and he still doesn't want to get recruited. What the hell? What the hell? Honestly, that's ridiculous. How's the power looking? Are we back on net gain? Okay, so during the daytime, we do gain, but during the nighttime, we lose. So, we should be okay. Uh, we should be able to stall a little bit. Uh, trading company, we're done with that. Uh, honestly, it's looking looking pretty good. Looking pretty good right now. Uh, whenever we get one of these guys recruited, we are going to convert... Uh, actually, we got to start working on another building anyway. And where to plop it down? I mean, we could plop one down here, kind of. Honestly, I mean, that's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and have that keep going. We're going to go ahead and plop down. It's going to be like a little bit of a hallway over here. It's kind of cool. I like the idea. A little bit of a hallway going, if that makes sense. Get a nice little room going over here. And then all we have to do to connect it is get it like a power conduit. 
right actually no we'll get a, another door over here to kind of connect to the whole hallway another door right there uh, let's haul this rock out of there and then we have like a nice hallway going throughout the entire thing it's pretty nice except the fact that it, there's no light whatsoever in it but whatever uh, gonna be wanting a standing lamp over in the corner and we are gonna go ahead and get a bed did someone get recruited no a housemate from Sylvester's plane is uh, visiting though uh, he's got a pistol he's just chilling you know just checking out our colony which is pretty nice uh, Salt still is like a stubborn asshole who does not want to get rec look at that look at that honestly 131 convincing I don't I don't even know why that's a thing but whatever uh, how's our storage rate doing? We might need another one of these. Looks like, as you can see, it's slowing down. It's about to stop. Yeah, the connected rate is about to stop. There we go. And then during daytime, it actually starts cranking on up. So, for now, that should help stall. But, also the turrets are probably taking a good chunk of electricity. But whatever, we can afford it. Uh, we'll probably plop down a couple more. But, we need to get some more... Uh, we need to recruit salt so you can have another laborer. That's going to be a big thing. And we got to go ahead and mine. So I'm actually going to go ahead and designate that. Tell them to start mining. Get that going. That's going to be nice for us. Get us some nice, 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 nice scrap. Uh, also, we might be able to just mine, uh, like, into this area, which is going to be handy for us, like, a little shortcut. But we're probably going to want to fortify it or something. And our colony, it's nice and lit up now, you know, should keep, should keep people from going crazy. Uh, especially once one of these assholes decides to become our friend. I'm looking at you, Salt. You are just one stubborn bastard. Not gonna lie, one stubborn bastard. Uh, yeah, seriously, I don't get why he's such a jerk. Uh, Cass is still making, making those fine meals. We might want to expand his... Uh, food. Also, our food is doing really well, actually. I like it. Uh, especially with the hunting to make fine meals. What is this? Yes, Salt has been recruited. Salt. GG, bro. GG. What's Salt good at? Mining. Well, we're going to go ahead and make sure he does mining first. That's what we're going to do. So, you're not going to ward it. That's not your job. Are uh, you going to firefight? Yeah, that's like number one priority. Uh, construction and repair. Might as well. And then you're going to be doing some mining. So that's your job. And uh, Waka's actually mining. So go Waka. Uh, Salt's better get to mining too. Because we got lots of stuff we got to get. Yeah, there you go, Salt. You're being productive. You're being productive. And this is going to be Salt's bed. I'm pretty sure. And then that's going to be the prison down there. So like on the battle lines, we can imprison it faster. I don't know. Also, we're going to want to go ahead and build stone walls at some point. Because they're kind of amazing compared to metal walls but for that we need a crafting table wherever that is uh do we need to research a crafting table i know we need to do something with this it's one of the like newer items i think we i think we actually need a crafting table we might need to research it because i don't see it over here uh is it under research uh stone cutting that's what i want you can build stone cutting tables Oh, we're going to research that next. And is anyone here a good researcher, really? Because we need... we need, Oh, he's actually good. Okay, let's get rid of your hauling. You're not going to be a hauler. You're going to do those things, and then you're going to do some research. Because we want to get some stone cutting so we could get some, like, ridiculously good walls. And uh, let's see. Cass is still cooking up that food. They left some food over there. It's raining, so it's going to start getting a little bit loud. That's going to be good for our crops. Also, I was going to... That's what I want to do. I want to expand on that. So gonna go ahead and tell them to haul some stuff yeah you want to haul this let's get that out the way and what we're gonna do is make a new zone we're gonna make a stockpile right and we're gonna do it in this desert zone where we can't really have productive farmland that's kind of my logic here I think it's pretty good logic but you know gotta be as productive as possible there we go I mean that might not be super on point but it's it's getting there it's pretty good and then we might like surround those sandbags or something. But we're going to have to go ahead and continue that next time. Sadly, today is going to be a bit of a shorter episode because I, I got to go. And oh my god, it's a lot of pistols. But uh, I do have to go. So that's sorry on my part. But next time we do get back, uh, we're going to have lots of fun stuff to do. Like make a new stockpile zone. Definitely going to research that crafting table and make us that so we can make some stone walls. 
possibly expand on the electricity because it looks like we're actually losing electricity during the night, so we might need more solar. And uh, just we're going to have lots of fun stuff this episode. We had salt get recruited. It's been a great episode. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like and this is a great star sign. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.